Hi guys, welcome back to 12th Android app development tutorial. This tutorial is continuation of the previous tutorial. In the last tutorial, we discussed the basics and details of the log cat. Now this is a part 2 tutorial that is a demonstration tutorial using the Eclipse. Now let's go to our Eclipse. Now in the Eclipse, let's open our first app. I will show you the demonstration of this log cat using the first application that we created. Now in our main activity, we had this much of codes. Now at the bottom of this Eclipse window, you will find a log cat console declaration Java doc problems and lots of stuffs, maybe more than this. Now, if you're not getting the log cat here, then simply go to windows. Then after that, go to show view. Now here you can find your log cat. If it is still not here, then go to other, a window will appear. Now here under the Android folder, you will find other stuffs here. Now one of it is the log cat. Now just click on it, click OK. Now your log cat will appear here. Fine, here you can find the information, debug, tags are there. Lots of stuffs are getting printed here even if I am not running the application. Now let's start our coding. Let's say log dot, let's say i, right? Now here automatically it is asking for the tag and the message, string tag, string message. Now inside the tag, let's write tricks. You can write your name also on the tag, right? Now message, let's say smart herd on roll, yeah, right? Now let's copy it, right? Now instead of I, let's write debug, D, right? Now what we are gonna do is just save it and run your application, right? My emulator was already running. You just have to start your emulator and your application. Like I taught you, yeah, hello world, we are getting the output. Now, let's check our log cat. Just maximize it or you can double click on it, right? It will cover the whole window. Now, here the emulator has thrown lots of system messages and the information message or the debug messages. Now, how you are gonna find your message that you just printed? Now, here is our message. Shrakes smarted on roll. Shrakes smarted on roll. Now, you don't have to find your log message from whole this bundle. You just go to this filters. You will see a plus sign here. Add a new log cut filter. Just click open this. Just give it a name. Shrakes filter. Yeah. Now, you have to filter by log tag. Let's say Shrakes right hit ok now it will show all the messages that are having the tags that is shrieks now guys as i told you in the previous tutorial the information message is always printed with the green and the debug message is always printed in the blue this is what i was talking about i think the things are getting more and more clear guys here is a tag message under tag column and the text message under the text column smart heard on roll now let me show you one more thing guys let's minimize it yeah right now if you want to print a string here by just using a string variable then what you wanna do just type string name let's write smart herd on roll right now instead of a smart herd on roll just type what name right now here again name just save it and execute it again oops I'm having some error smart oh I just forgot a semicolon here, right? Again, save it, execute it. Run your application, you're gonna get something. Bam, hello world again. Now let's check our log cat. Now I'm using this Shrix filter, let's click on this all message. Again, the stuffs are coming here like this. Now let's click on Let's click on our Shrix filter. It is showing four messages. The first two messages were executed on the first time when we run our application. This is the current output which we just got after running the application just now. Now you can see the same output is coming. Shrix smart head on roll. Shrix smart head on roll. Now this depicts that if you want to check the value of a string variable or if you want to check the value of an integer variable, either you are getting the value in that variable or not, then you can simply use the log class. So these log methods of log class are really helpful to find out either our variable is carrying a null value or carrying the value that is not required by our application. So in our tutorial series, we are going to use the debug class because I like the blue color. 
Now, if you want, you can use the log.w also, log.e also. It's up to your choice. No props. So hope you guys got something out of it. It's pretty simple and clear by watching these tutorials. So catch you guys in the next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and do like my video and leave a comment below my video. I would love to hear from you guys. This is Shrakes from Smart Herd signing off.